Investment Ring Power Corporation. Here today with my friend Bryce Garvey, Captain Bryce on the Georgie Girl. We want to talk today about uh, legacy engines in sport fishing boats and uh, the reliability of them once an engine gets some time on it and some uh, age. Bryce, uh, what about parts availability on the, on the C30s? The C30s have been a great motor for us. Uh, 6,300 hours. Um, just doing your scheduled maintenance, uh, thousand hour services, valve adjustments, um, really haven't had any major trouble with these engines. Um, you know, the biggest of, uh, biggest uh, bonus, I should say, for this engine is it was under warranty for 10 years. Um, still uh, a great engine, there's nothing to do to it other than continue to run it for another three, 4,000 hours. Um, we use the engine very lightly, uh, a lot of trolling hours, chugging hours, 10 knots. Um, a lot of hours but low fuel burn so we haven't run a lot of fuel for these motors um, considering that the build was built in 2003 um, they were making these things there it's a pretty yeah. nice motor well 6300 hours that's still a pretty good a lot of time you do a lot of traveling I, I know that but what about parts availability so you've not experienced any uh part shortages um, or no. since the engine is getting some age on it you know some some, I know some manufacturers have issues with Parts yeah, we've had over. to replace, you know, a few raw water pumps and just your standard stuff that gets a lot of time and use on it. Um, parts availability was quick. Uh, we did have a lightning strike. ECMs were available quick. Um, MPDs, um, you know, it was uh, it was pretty easy, pain, painless to um, go through a lightning strike experience and still be able to get some of these parts with not really a hesitation. Dealing with ring power since the life of the engine, uh, been a great company to work with uh, I fear that. we uh, we would hopefully if we bought another boat have ring power as our engine manufacturer awesome supplier great so when we uh, you know when we build an engine like this we lay out a maintenance schedule which we call scheduled maintenance um, have you experienced anything in this 6300 hours of usage that wasn't really scheduled to be done that you know some kind of failure that that you had to do unscheduled maintenance, is what uh, we were called. No, not so much. Um, I would say, you know, updating our aftercoolers, um, you know, that was a, a, a big advantage um, for security and peace of mind. Yeah. Um, you know, we have had updates on these things. Um, things have gotten better. Things have lasted longer. Um, but just bringing the motor up to date with some of the current parts that need to be on them, and there are some of the parts that are on the C32. Um, but, you know, it's, it's great to be current and uh, be able to get the part if you need the part. But um, everything on these motors have been current, up to date. Um, you know, I, I have a few friends in, in the industry that have had um, a lot of hours on their motors. And, you know, when they get to this 63, 7,000, they're already looking at rebuilds where, as I feel, we still have another three, 4,000 hours left. Yeah, awesome. Well, it's good seeing you again, Cap Bryce. Thank you. Yeah, wish you a lot of luck, and uh, that's it. Us from Flips 2015.